Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. The Biden shock. Everything is going up in the markets right now, including some of my favorite investments. Gold has gone up just in the last one week, looking at the price of futures, about 5%. Looking at silver, the price of futures had gone up almost 11% in the last one week. Is this the time to get back into the market? What are the charts and the positioning telling us? What should you do with your money? long term and short term with gold and silver i want to give you guys a quick 10 minute update today in a youtube video for those of you new to my channel uh, my name is dan i'm a former wall street trader and hedge fund manager please see the below description area as to who i am i just started youtube this year would appreciate if you subscribe to my channel going forward let's break this down number one today let's give you a quick review about gold and silver and why and how you should invest in gold and silver both long term and short term and then number two let's get into the current charts right now gold silver and platinum how are things looking with the charts and positioning and then number three as usual my recommendation for what i think you should do with your money first and foremost guys gold and silver it's one of my favorite investments i've been talking about gold and silver since i started youtube just a few months ago on the japanese channel i started talking about it in february and march it's one of my favorite investments longer term and i think everybody should put it into their long-term portfolio for their retirement account they should allocate it i think a lot more aggressively than what most financial advisors say most financial advisors that i talk to are saying gold or silver should maybe only be five or ten percent i think the whole commodities region of your portfolio should be 20 to 40 percent and the main reason is this it's because what's been going on in monetary policy all across the world is money supply is expanding right now at a very rapid pace especially if you look at let's say the u.s monetary base it's been expanding at an almost enormous speed right now the monetary base if you look at the united states right now which is the money supply that the u.s federal reserve which is the central bank in the u.s controls we see here it has just been going up and up and up and then basically since the great financial crisis it's just gone bonkers in an exponential direction and then it initially tapered a little bit and then coronavirus now and now it's back basically going back up history shows us looking at hundreds of years and also thousands of years that when paper money it's called fiat money increases in money supply causes rapid increase in the price of gold now we can see looking at the price of gold divided by the money supply which is the ratio between the two moving together and the price of gold right now is still at almost a hundred year low relative to the money supply right now and this is why it's the crux of my argument for why everybody should hold these precious metals because we cannot create more of these things fiat money stocks bonds currencies even real estate tons of other stuff but most commodities even energy products and also a lot of other agriculture products human beings have created more and we can continue to create more we can control the supply however gold silver a lot of other metals we cannot control the supply and gold silver platinum are very rare it's one of the very few investment products that has all these things together and this is why it's been the foundation of money for thousands of years so please see my previous gold videos i'll put it at the end of the screen on why you should continue to invest in this long term now for short term wise what's going on with the charts let's take a look if you guys if you don't understand my chart lingo and the vocabulary i use please see the below description area for the previous videos on macd rsi bollinger band etc let's first take a look at gold right now i'm looking at gold futures right now and currently right now it's around 1960 now they've risen about five percent and i recommend it to actually start selling right before the election here because i thought it was a gamble to hold on into an election i have no regrets whatsoever it's fine to miss a short-term move like this because long term i always hold a little bit in my long-term investment account my short-term account is different from my long-term account and this is what's very important that i've tried to distinguish is you have two separate accounts one is for your retirement and one is for riding lots of trends now the short-term account is where i sold a lot of my positions into the elections because 
it's a gamble and I have no regrets because whether you make money or lose money, it doesn't change the fact that it's a gamble. We don't know what's going to happen and there's always going on. So now that election's starting to sort of simmer a little bit, although we don't know what's going to happen yet between uh, Biden and Trump and some of these lawsuits, for the most part, it looks like things are starting to stabilize. And we look at the charts here for gold. We zoom out here. Most important trend that I notice is that this downtrend line that has basically been going on since mm, August 18 or so, it seems to be broken now officially for the first time. So I think this is a strong indicator that at least a medium term downtrend is over for gold. Now, also, guys, please do distinguish that right now you see here across in the moving averages here right now i'm using a short-term moving average this yellow line which is the three-day moving average now you can use three day a lot of people use five days or ten days or something like that for the short term regardless there's a cross right now you can see here between the yellow line and the purple line two moving averages this is not a golden cross this is a big misnomer big misunderstanding a golden cross is when the two moving averages are both going up in the same direction this the yellow line five day moving average is going up yet here this purple line the 50 day moving average is still moving down so this here technically is not a golden cross but do note that if both are proving in the same direction it is a golden cross i talk about this in my new book so please purchase the new book if you are interested in this looking also at other indicators here we see the volume nothing really special going on here the macd is going up and it's been trending up for a while rsi is also trending higher here it's also around uh let's see here 60 50 where is it here yeah it's a little bit higher it's around 62 64 so it's trending in the right direction let's look at the bollinger band here bollinger band it's near the top of its range here but it hasn't really bulged out indicating that it's in a nice stable rising trend at the moment let's look at the positioning for gold as well positioning for gold interestingly yeah the non-commercial position it's a little bit high in the last five years but it's not super high indicating to me that the trend could probably continue to go forward now how about silver looking at the chart of silver here a very similar situation here i think that the longer term downtrend that's been going on since august has been broken higher and now the price of silver is moving higher here it's gone obviously the trend is moving higher in the macd and the rsi and the bollinger band still hasn't bulged out which indicates that it's not really overbought looking at the positioning for non-commercial positioning of silver according to the cot legacy report it's a little bit higher than historical average but it's still not too high at the moment now, last but not least, let's look at platinum here. Platinum, uh, very, very different chart. If you guys notice right away here, platinum is in a different situation. Why? Because it's still close to this pink line here, which is it's, well, I don't know why I have uh, 160 here. Sometimes I use 100, sometimes I use uh, 200. But the platinum futures here we see right now, it's very close to this 100 day moving average right now. It's a red line at the moment. If you look at silver, on the other hand, it's way above 100 day. If you look at gold, it's also way above its 100 day. Platinum is still among the three precious metals, the only one that is just still only barely above its 100 day. This is what makes it very different in terms of the chart. Otherwise, the charts are the same. MACD is moving up, RSI is moving up. And from the most part, it kind of looks like the trend is over since uh they were the peak in july or so but it's still a little bit hard to tell i mean it depends on where you draw this line here but for the most part it looks like it's pretty much about the end also if you look at positioning for uh platinum this is where also things get interesting if you look at non-commercial positioning here it's actually relatively low compared to the last five years so i think this is what makes platinum maybe the most interesting buy out of these three and okay now what is my recommendation on what you should do with your money going forward i think going forward right now even with what's going on with the biden uh and trump sort of uh sort of election slash lawsuit situation it's probably safe to start dipping your feet back into the market at the moment now where should you start dipping your feet back in and what should you be looking at this is the crux of the here 
Now, looking at here, I want to show you guys something interesting, what's going on in silver, especially in the ETFs, because a lot of you guys are probably not playing the futures, you're playing the ETFs. And I think this is what's interesting here, because if you look at SLV, and if you look at implied volatility, it's still not super low like it was here, indicating to me that it's not super underbought either. It's not overbought and it's not under it's not overbought. It's not oversold implied volatility is in the middle. Notice that when silver was going sky high during August, implied volatility also went up. This is a unique situation where usually implied volatility goes up when the price of something goes down. But silver, especially gold and also platinum, but silver, especially this ETF, the price went up together with implied volatility in August. So do know that this is a unique situation that you should sometimes look at for the ETFs in silver. Uh, right now, it's in a medium range, indicating it's not super cheap either. So I would probably rather look at platinum right now instead of uh, silver. And gold is always interesting as well. But personally, looking at the charts, I think platinum still looks the most interesting. Why? Because it is the only one still that is right hasn't really broken through its 100 day moving average yet. So I still think it has room to go up. And my recommendation as usual, guys, please uh, note that I'm doing long term and short term investing long term. I've never sold. I'm always, always buying 79% of my net worth. I just hold long term. And I'm holding it until retirement. I continue to hold gold, silver, platinum. And then my separate account that I have short term investing, I'm going to start buying some platinum. I'm going to be looking at futures. But if you're sort of new to investing and you don't want to use futures, then I recommend you look at ETFs. ETFs and platinum such as PPLT may be a good idea for you and your portfolio. Again, guys, please make your own recommend. Please make your own judgments. Please make your own uh, decisions at the end of the day. Investment is self responsibility and every decision is your own idea. I'm just giving you my analysis. Thanks again, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed today's content, please press the like button below and please subscribe to my channel going forward. Thanks again. Have a great week.